Hi, this is Mike with Apple Irrigation. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to troubleshoot your valley track and roller corner with buried wire guidance. Now this video isn't intended to replace your valley service dealer, but just to give you a few little tips as to what to maybe look for uh, when your corner stops operating. Let's go take a look at the pivot panel. So the first thing you want to do if you have a select panel is to go and look at the diagnostics. Right here in the diagnostics we've got a picture of a tower. That means that the machine has shut down due to a safety fault. If this were a um, pro panel, you'd have an error code 5. So now that we know it's shut down due to safety, we're going to go ahead and look inside the control panel. oscillator and this oscillator puts out a radio signal that goes into these buried control wires. So we take our little fluke meter and um, we put the onto ohms Oops. and we can measure the ohms power off on the machine onto our buried wire. We don't have to disconnect these wires. 25 ohms. Now, this machine was new, we had 24 and a half ohms, so we know that the buried wire is good. However, we could have a bad oscillator. Um, the oscillator should be putting out somewhere between 3.5 and, and 7 ohms when the machine is operating. So, to test the oscillator, we have to we're going to hot wire the oscillator. We're going to take the wire that normally runs the oscillator and we're going to move it on to 120 volts AC. Now the oscillator will be powered continually whenever the disconnect on the disconnect. Be very careful. Everything you need is now locked. We move our meter to DC voltage. Or excuse me. Move our meter to AC voltage. That would be much better. Test the meter. Okay, so before you even bother to go crawl up on the corner, a nice handy thing to do would be to get uh, somebody at the pivot panel and somebody at the end of the machine. Make sure you both can be viewing the machine, and this is really critical. We're going to be talking to each other on our cell phone or our radio and we'll have the operator at the pivot panel start the machine dry and hold the safety override button in. If the machine moves and if the corner moves, we know that the problem is on the straight part of the machine. If the corner does not move, then we know the problem is associated with the corner machine's safety circuit. There's really, you can kind of think of it as two separate safety circuits. The safety override button that's in the control panel will only override the straight part of the machine's safety circuit. I cannot stress this enough. Do not hold the safety override button unless you are in constant contact with somebody on the other end of the machine and watching the entire machine because you could cause some great damage. All right, let's go up on top of the machine now. Okay, here we are up on top of uh, the machine. And what we want to look at is the cradle assembly. Now this is a V-flex corner. Um, we want to check to make sure that the track is approximately centered. Again, plus or minus six inches from about center. But if, if the rollers are way Then 
we know we probably have a problem with this box right here which is called the run cycle box. Uh, after the machine wears a while you can actually see where the track rollers have been running and if it's off of that normal path we most likely have a run cycle box problem. Uh, this is the most unlikely situation what I've come across. Uh, the Valley run cycle box are actually very reliable. Okay here we are at the last wheel track of the machine. The next thing you want to do is look to see if the machine is actually in the last wheel track. Now this one is really hard to tell because we have the non-directional tires on uh, in an alfalfa field and there, this has uh, been three years and there is virtually no wheel track here whatsoever. But we can kind of pan out and see that, kind of get an idea where the wheel track is is exactly in its wheel track. If it was way off the track, we probably have either a bad for forward antenna or a bad reverse antenna. Now, the cool thing about the valleys is all three of these antennas are exactly the same part number. So, we could flip-flop the forward and reverse antennas. Don't forget to flip them up in the box could in a pinch get this thing to run one direction only if you had a bad forward or reverse antenna. Um, that will only work if the machine is out of its wheel track. If it's in the wheel track and it's shut down you could have a bad reference antenna um, and that would require to swap it with a forward or reverse antenna but that would probably troubleshoot that for you. Let's go take a look at uh, one more thing. The final scenario that you should look at is the uh, heater in the swing tower box. Now what will happen if the heaters are tripped is the machine will hold safety, the end tower light will blink, but the swing tower does not move. If that's the case, we most likely have a bad heater in the swing tower box. Uh, we'll go up and we'll take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so these are the heaters in the swing tower box. Um, there's two buttons. You want to push these, both of these down. If they push down with some resistance, you know that they were tripped. You definitely want to check both of them. We appreciate you watching our video today. Hope you learned a little bit about the Valley Track and Roller Corner. And uh, keep in mind that uh, if you are in southern Minnesota or western Wisconsin, you're in need of a good irrigation outfit, please don't hesitate to give Apple Irrigation a call. We work on all brands. We'll be happy to take care of you. Thanks for watching.